when I started playing video games, it was like uh, really magical for me. Video games really transform your world. You feel like that you have gone into a really different world. You are really, there's something really magical happening. You can control so many things in the video games. In my childhood, I didn't have a lot of freedom to go out of the house. I mean, at certain level, when we used to go, we go for only for shopping or with my mother, not to play, not to meet a lot of friends. And we always had to come back home. That's where the video games really helped me to get an escape. Sometimes I used to really dream that I'm in that world and I could escape into that magical kingdom anytime I wanted. No matter how my life or how small my world at that time was. My name is Satya Vishir and I'm the founder of Pixel Art Games Academy. I'm a game developer in Pakistan and I'm passionate about games for change and social impact. When I'm abroad in US or in some other country, people often ask me if I wear a burqa at home and uh, it's a really amazing question because you know people often confuse Pakistan with Middle East. my husband's present for his birthday. <laughs> so last year I got him, it's going to be one year. Oh, he doesn't like you. Yeah. He's like this <laughs> intruders. Yes, Snowy, guard the house, right? No intruders. My husband was making games uh, for on mental health and psychology and he needed somebody to um, help him with like design and some of the like you know advice on the games. So he contacted me on Twitter. So I went to Karachi for a TEDx and that's where I met him. So initially, four years ago, we started with the training academy where we just wanted to teach and train people for, to make games. And eventually we set up the game lab where we want to make our own games as well. So this is Rahila, she's our 2D artist and uh, she work uh, on the game art. We are currently making a hidden object game and uh, she's making the scenes for the game. She was my first student of the academy. Whites are not good because we remove the whites. So this white color is a little bit yellowish. I think I will define her as my mentor and like a, well, I can't say big sister because okay, technically I'm older than her, but yeah, she behaves like a big sister. She's like the sister I never had. And if I had any you know, questions regarding everything, even cooking or even personal life, I can freely ask her. So this is a gamification of tourism. So we have made this gamified app, basically just like Pokemon Go, but instead of like finding Pokemons, you'll go around and you'll find the information about Pakistan, tourism places. This is not the final version. This is the version where we, are, we add things and then we test in house to see that if it's working or not. Since it's a game of fight, so every point that you'll visit in Pakistan Monument, you'll get some points for that. The other countries, they think of Pakistan as like a very uh, underdeveloped country that we don't have the technology and we are like living desert, poor people, not that and secure. And even culturally, they think that women are oppressed. The husbands used to like, you know, you know, lock them up in their houses and forbid them to do anything else. It's not true. It's quite different. All of you have played games, but playing game is not exactly like making games. So we made this game which is, is actually like a chess, but in this game, so we made this physical prototype. So this is a turn-based strategy game. This is our player <laughs> and this is our bunny that we have to catch. So our character can only move one step here, one step here, one step here. And our bunny can move one step, but in all direction. This is the game that we actually made. It is just to show you that where, how you can prototype any kind of a game before you make actual game.
I hope to be an illustrator or a animator and obviously I um, work with uh, designing art for games. A lot of um, females to look up to into this uh, industry, Sadia has um, become one of them and I think that is valuable. It's kind of inspiring that I can also reach that point um, in the future, inshallah. I was the first girl in my family to go to a university and it's, uh, it's been an honor for me. It is challenging for women to start a business in Pakistan and especially if you talk about technology and games field. Um, they, they, it is very male dominated industry and for women to strive or women to come on a leadership position or be in a prominent position, you have to be really resilient to um, go through all the negativity you get. इतना मैं तो नहीं जानती ये जानती हूं जो कंपनी चला रही है अगर मैं इतना पढ़ा होती ना तो आप जैसे शादी है जवाब देती वैसे ही मैं आपको भी दे पहले तो मैं ज्यादा से ज्यादा पढ़ाई करनी चाहती मैंने 5 तक पढ़ा फर्स्ट डिवीजन में तो उस टाइम स्कूल कोई नहीं थे गांव में शहरों में थे शहरों में मैं किसके पास जाती उन जमानों की बात है आज से कोई मेरी 58 एज हो गई है तो आप सोच लो कितना जमाना पीछे चला गया होगा तो उस टाइम मैं अगर पढ़ती ना तो कुछ ना कुछ जरूर बनती और ना पढ़ने के बावजूद भी मैं बहुत कुछ करती हूं कि ऐसा कोई हुनर नहीं जो मुझे नहीं आता और मेरी जो स्टिचिंग है ना कोई अच्छे से अच्छा टेलर है ना वो भी नहीं कर सकता so my mother is very important part of my life. I've seen my mother doing so much hard work for all of her kids to make sure that we all get the best. बहुत ही अच्छी थी शुरू से पढ़ाई में भी अच्छी थी कंप्यूटर का शौक तो मेरी दोस्त ही एक मेरे घर में आती तो मैं उसके घर गई उसके घर में उस टाइम कंप्यूटर था जब इतना कंप्यूटर नहीं था तो उनके घर से फिर इसको कंप्यूटर का बहुत शौक पड़ा जे यूनिवर्सिटी जाती थी ना पहले ऑफिस जाती थी फिर यूनिवर्सिटी आती थी यूनिवर्सिटी से रात को 9 10 बजे आती थी घर दो दो दिन तक सोती नहीं थी खाना मैं इसको कह कह के खिलाती थी जब जे रात तक खाना नहीं खाती थी मैं खुद भी नहीं सोती थी मैंने अपने बच्चों का बहुत साथ दिया घर का काम करती थी खाना बनाती थी और उसके साथ मैं पढ़ाई भी करती थी I think uh, I'm very good with technology in terms of buying equipment. So I always do research beforehand for what I have to buy, where I have to go, and what do I need. Sometimes when they see women and you go and ask for a computer at the shop, so the question they'll ask you like, you know, so what, which one you want to get, like the red one or the pink one? <laughs> so I think that that's the question is really funny because they don't see a women as asking for the specs of the computer. I think when I hike, I don't really think about work or ideas. I just want to like enjoy the scenery, be in the moment and not think about work. This is the whole point of disconnecting. And as an inspiration, that I do get inspiration from many things, but I think I'm good at like, you know, just compartmentalizing myself from other things. So when I'm here, I don't really think about work. <laughs> I just want to enjoy myself. <laughs> I believe in what she's doing, supporting other women to join the industry and make it a more equal space. And her desire for social impact games. Sadia is someone who has, you know, burst, uh, as you can say, the glass ceiling or the sound barrier, given where she has come from and where she has gotten to. I think where I come from, um, having an equal partnership between men and women is not very common. And it's always seen that uh, the men are more prioritized over women 
in everything that they do, it beats education, beats their career, beats their you know will of doing a business. And I think uh, I feel very lucky that we have this kind of a relationship because I think that's where the change is going to come in Pakistan. That's where we are going to make things different for our generation and uh, for our future generation.